I'm Amy here at Kill and Chill Yoga and Mobility for Fighters. Today we're going to do a whole practice, but very, very hip focused. If you have these things, cool, some kind of belt, doesn't have to be a yoga belt, any belt will do. If you have yoga box, one or two, that'd be great. If you don't have them, that's okay. And if you have a foam roller, my dearest love, you can have that too. I mean, that'd be cool too. If you don't have it, we're fine. All right, so let's get started. Get onto your back to start with. We need to warm the hips up before we start stretching them. So on your back, feet near your hips, near your butt, good. And we're just gonna windshield wiper the legs. So make the feet a little wider than your hips and let your knees just fall over to one side. We're not gonna stay there though. Bring them back up and let them go to the other side. If you want to connect your breath with this, then inhale as you come up, exhale as you take them to the side. We're getting a little bit of loosening around the low back area probably, all around the hips, low belly, maybe thighs. Good. Do this a couple more times. And of course, Billy shows up. Hello, Billy. Okay, next time you go to whatever way is the first way you went, Leave your legs there and very gently, don't be crazy about this, you can push that top hip forward a little bit. Not a lot right now. Good, bring it back in. Take them to the other side. Don't knock the camera over, Billy, for fuck's sake. And then let that top hip go forward a little bit. Okay. All right, hi again. Okay, so now, uh, Right after you finish with the windshield wipers, bring your knees in toward your belly, rock side to side on your low back, and then circle your legs around and to the outside a couple times, and then the other direction a couple times. I was hoping to do this when he was taking a nap, but he decided to get up. Okay, put your feet down, roll over to one side, and sit up. Now we're gonna do some circles with in Balasana, child's pose, we're gonna do uh, some big hip circles that are warm with the hips and the shoulders. So, child's pose, like this. Stretch there for a second. Got some pops out of my spine there. And then come forward and go in a circle as you come back down, back to child's pose. Take yourself sideways and then a circle round and round. Good, as you're going from side to side, see if you can get a good long stretch on the side of the body. And then go the other direction. You will notice that each side of your body feels very slightly different, maybe very intensely different. Good, next time we've done it equal number of times. Come up to hands and knees. We're going straight to a down dog. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you do a lot of them. So toes curled under, hands a little bit in front of your shoulders. We'll lift the knees. And now you're gonna down dog. Bend your knees behind you and keep, get your butt back there, and then leave your butt where it is and straighten your legs. Take your arms down your back and think about wrapping your triceps around and toward each other. All right, we're not gonna stay here long now. Put your left knee down, step your right leg forward. Good, we're in a nice kind of shallow low lunge, probably 90-90. You can keep the back toes curled under for balance. All right, now just in and out. That's all, just warming it up. I'm sorry I'm laughing, but Billy is being Billy. All right, now, this would be a good time to have blocks if you have them, so you could bring the floor to you, but if you don't, go ahead and put your hands down. And then we're just going back a little bit. I do not want you to try to make this a hamstring stretch. We're just kind of warming up the hamstring. Good, you can lift your front toes off the ground as you go. Awesome, pause here, go in circles a little bit, just like we were doing on the ground, just do one in each direction. And then, you already have one, <laughs> one hand down, <coughs> sorry, so the left hand is down, take your body, make it long, and then reach the right arm up, nice. Don't try to take it behind you, just take it straight up toward the ceiling. If it doesn't hurt your neck, you can look up there also. If it does hurt your neck, look forward or down. Good, while you're here, go ahead and loop that hand
hand around, back of the hand goes to the low back, and take that shoulder back a little bit. Not gonna stay here long, still warm it up. Up and down. Guess what? Back in a down dog. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and get used to doing a good down dog. So butt back, up on your toes, leave the butt there, straighten the legs. Good, from here, push into the floor with your hands. Take your shoulders down your back as you wrap your triceps around. Head shouldn't be out here, and it shouldn't be way here. It should be mostly ears even with inner arms. All right, and now just set the right knee down, and come on, bring the left leg up. Good, nice 90-90 again. Awesome, so we're just gonna go in and out. Good, you might as well engage the core here. You should have core engaged whenever you're doing physical activities pretty much. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a while. Sorry, you guys. Okay, <laughs> and now I'm just gonna go back and forth a little bit. Not much, not too much stretch in that hamstring yet. We will get to that later, I promise. All right, come on back up. Right hand is on the floor. Make your body nice and long, and then twist toward your left side. Keep being long, and if you want to lift your arm up, cool. You do not have to, though, and if you do, it's not this way. It's just straight up. Oh, why am I not looking at you? I don't know. And then take your hand around, back of the hand on the, the low back, and then roll your top shoulder back. Bring it back. Take it down. And down dog. Not staying here long, just long enough to walk forward to a forward fold. Good. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise on up. Okay, we're going to talk about a concept today that I think is important for uh, thinking about hips. So we're going to talk, you've probably heard yoga teachers say, fold at the hip creases. And you're like, I'm fucking folding, lady. So, or man. Um, dudes can teach yoga too. All right, so here's what I want you to do. Stand up straight, shoulders back and down, inhale your arms up, and just fold how you would normally fold. Fold, 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 fold. Yep, that feels good. Nice hamstring stretch, everything's good. Come on back up. And hands down. Okay, now, it doesn't matter what you got going on here in the belly, nothing, a lot of something, somewhere in the middle, does not matter. But I want you to think about pulling your belly in and up, not with your hands, but this is just making you feel like you're doing something. So pull that up and then imagine that there's, uh, let's say like a pool noodle or something right here. And when you bend forward, you have to bend over it. So there's a thing here. When you bend forward, you're bending over it. You may feel a slight difference in what happened as you folded. You may not, that's fine. Okay, inhale here, rise on back up. That's a concept. Think about using it while you're doing this today. All right. We're gonna do high lunge now. High lunge is harder than low lunge, but we're gonna do it. If you need to put your knee down for this, that's fine. So step your right foot back and be in a nice high lunge. You can be pretty far back, however far back you wanna be. That's fine, I'm gonna be here today. And make it, make your feet kinda wide apart side to side so that you have good balance here. Good. Wow, I got a lot of cat hair on me. All right, front knee bent 90 degrees, knee not going past the ankle, back leg nice and straight. However, first bend that knee, make the back thigh more or less perpendicular to the floor. Good, and now that that's there, use that to help guide you to take the right hip forward a little bit so the hips are even and not just cocked out to the side. Good, now straighten that back knee. We're gonna do this up and down a few times. So bend the back knee, good. And when you come back up, you're not coming out of the lunge. Stay in the lunge and just straighten the back knee. Bend the back knee, straighten the back knee. Bend the back knee, straighten the back knee. I'm a dick, I understand. Okay, bend the back knee, set it down, and then step into a child's pose again. While you're in the child's pose, yeah, you can see that, walk your hands over toward the right and press your left hip to the left. Really push into your uh, left hand here to really make your left side nice and long. Good, come on back up, back to child's pose, 
walk your hands over toward the right and really press into the right hand and press your hips toward the right and get a nice long stretch there. This stretches the side of the body all the way down to the outsides of the hips. It's awesome. All right, come back up. Good. Just make yourself go to forward fold. Get there somehow. And come to a flat back. Shoulders down the back. Exhale, fold. Touch your cat. Inhale, rise on up. We're going to do the lunge on the other side. So step the left leg back. Good. Always take time to set up. As I say, Jenna's going to laugh at this in yoga, set yourself up for success. So take the time to set up and feel like you're going to be nice and strong in the pose. So 90 degrees here, doesn't might really matter how far the other leg goes back, I just want you to feel stable. And now feet as wide side to side as you need them to be, good. Bend the back knee, take that hip forward, awesome. Stay here, hands on the hips, and lower that knee and straighten that leg. Knee, straight. Knee, straight. Knee down. Go into child's pose. We're going to do the same lateral stretch we did before. So first, walk your hands over toward the left. Press the left hand into the floor. Really push the left hips to the side. Awesome. Walk your hands over to the right. Push the right uh, hand into the floor and push it so that your right hips go out to the side. Awesome. Come back up to hands and knees. Just lift your hips enough to walk you into a forward fold. Good. Fold here. Think about even while you're here to kind of make the space in the hip crease and then fold down. You guys can't see Billy. But he's trying to eat the notebook where I wrote all this stuff down. All right, now you'll hear yoga teachers say root to rise. All that does is make you engage the outsides of your legs more. So feel like you're rooting down to the ground. Do engage your legs and then rise on up. Root to rise. It's an easy thing to remember that will help you remember to engage everything. All right, here we go. Good old warrior two. So we'll start with the uh, step your feet wide. Turn the right foot out pointing that way, and then make sure that the right heel is bisecting the left foot. That basically means that the heel is pointed to the middle of the back foot. All right, so again, see if you can get a 90 degree angle here. It does not have to be like, it doesn't have to be there, but we're working toward that. All right, mine's not 90, but anyway, uh, knee is over the ankle, good. Now, hips feel solid here. I want you to make sure that the front front knee is not flopping in. So take the butt and think about wrapping it around and down all the way down there. There's the least tail. All right. <laughs> now, as that's there, I want you to take your arms nice and straight out. Awesome. Look out over your front hand, which should be your right hand here. And now drop your left hand to your back leg. Turn your right hand palm up and reach up toward the sky, arch backward. That's gonna make your front knee wanna unbend. Bend it, keep it bent, reach back. Now, go ahead, inhale, straighten that front leg. Reach back some more. Nice long stretch on the side of the body. There's a theme here because that's important for the hips also. All right, come back to warrior two. Exhale and go on into side angle pose. So your right forearm is going on to the right thigh and then you're taking your arms straight up in the air. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> professional situation here. All right, so you're taking your arm straight up in the air and then over your head. Here, don't collapse in, but press so that you do have a nice 90 degree angle here, nice and strong, reaching that arm up. You can take it around back if you want. Chest big, reach the arm up again. Come back up to warrior two. Turn the feet, go forward, inhale up, bend at those hip creases, and fold. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Billy. All right, you didn't see that because you were bending over. So get those hip creases and bend over them and fold. All right, just hang here for a second. Feel how things feel. Maybe the thighs are warming up. Awesome. Keep a little slight bend in the knee. Knees. 
and let your head hang. If you want to here, you can turn your fingers so they point behind you and you can walk them back between your legs and fold a little bit more. Not required. Walk back forward, engage everything. Feel like you're rooting to rise here too. Engage it all, including core. Rise on up. We're gonna do the other side now. So switch to where your left toes are pointing out to the left. Make sure that the left heel is coming to the middle of, to the arch of the right foot, setting ourselves up for success. So more or less 90 degree angle here in the knee, core in, butt around and down. Ooh, all right, butt around and down. Pressing into the outer edge of the back foot. <laughs> this cat. Pressing into the outer edge of the back foot and even feel the inner thigh on that back leg engage. Good. Arms out. Nice warrior two. Look out over your fingers, looking into the future, but you're still here in the present. All right. Good. Sorry. All right. Now, you're going to reach back. Drop your right hand to your right leg. Reach back. Do not let your front knee um, get straight yet. Inhale here. Exhale here. And now inhale as you de straighten the front leg and really, really take your top hand over your head. Good. Come back into warrior two. Just gonna stay here for a second and then side angle pose here. All right. From here, we're gonna do all of that again. So come on back up. Warrior two. Feet forward. Inhale and fold. Take those hip creases. All right, now, while we're hanging here, I just want to talk about why this, is, this whole thing is good for fighters. This is good for anybody. However, we're talking about hips today because when we kick, we're just making those hip flexors contract, 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 and uh, that makes them nice and tight. The hips all around, use, uh, we use those a lot in fighting. Uh, so we're helping with these. We're really focusing on the hip flexors and around the outside of the hips today too. And uh, like I said, this is good for anybody, but I want you, if you kick a lot, to do some of this stuff regularly. Okay, so you've been hanging there for a while. All right, uh, put a little bend in your knees, root to rise, come on up, hands to the center. All right, other way. Right toes out, round the butt down, and that means just engage it so that it's not just loose and your leg is loose. Round it down as you do, your front knee will open up so that it's more over the ankle. Press the outer edge of the back foot there. Put power into the inside thigh on the back. <sighs> Arms out. Look over that right arm. Good. Exhale here. Inhale, reach the hand high, keep the knee bent. Exhale here. Inhale as you straighten that leg. Exhale, just settle into it. Inhale as you go back to warrior two. Exhale into it. Inhale into side angle pose. Exhale into it. Stay here, inhale again, and if you want to wrap your arm, back of the hand to the low back, and really open up that shoulder. Good, bring it back up, and back to here. Just change all at once. Feels super cool doing that, but set everything up. Glutes on around and down. Knee not past the ankle. <laughs> really put power into the outer edge of the back foot into that back thigh. Okay, everything is nice and firm, keeping you solid here so that the upper part can move around. All right, so look out over that left hand. Good. Take your left hand back and your right hand down to your thigh. Leave your left knee bent, however. Exhale here. Inhale as you straighten your front leg. Really lean back. Exhale here. Inhale back into warrior two. Exhale. Inhale to side angle. Exhale. Stay here. And if you want to, you can take the back of the hand around the back. Open that chest. Big inhale here. Exhale. Come on back up. Turn the toes in. All right. Here's what we're going to do with the toes in now. We're going to do a twist. So fold forward, hip creases, fold forward. Good. Hang here for a second. 
And now take the left hand right below. So come up so that your torso is parallel to the floor. Take the left hand right below your face. Put the right hand on the right hip. Get nice and long like you're trying to take your top of your head toward the video. And then open up, twisting to the right. Now, don't, don't lift your arm up for this one. But notice as you twist it toward the right that your left hip tried to help. So keep your upper body where it is and take that left hip back where it belongs. All right, good. Exhale, fold. Right hand under your face, left hand to the hip. Inhale and open. The right hip probably came forward to try to help, so take that back. Good. Again, we're not lifting arm up. So exhale down. Engage everything, root to rise, inhale, come on up. All right, walk your feet in, back to your front of your mat, inhale up, exhale, forward fold, remember the hip creases, good. And then step back, get onto your knees and into a child's pose. Well, I deal with Billy, okay. <laughs> You're in child's pose still. I know you are because I told you to go there. All right. So now back onto your hands and knees. Awesome. You're going to do just a little bit of strengthening for the hips. Roll your shoulders down your back. Really make everything solid here. Step your left leg back, toes down. Of course, you're not rock back and forth into that uh, foot because you need it. All right. Now, everything solid. Root to rise, sort of, with the hands here and lift the back leg up so that it's parallel to the floor. If you tilt it over to the right, solid again. Shoulders down the back, core in over here on the front of the left hip. That's holding you up here. The butt is lifting you up too. Good, set that down. Right foot back, everything, shoulders down your back, really pushing you off the floor, core in. Lift that right leg up, tilt it over to the left, even it up a bit. Good. Awesome. All right, set that down, set it down. Child's pose one more time. <clears throat> Good. And then hands and knees. Get your uh, knees off the ground just long enough to get to a forward fold position, even though you're already here. Once again, I want you to think about the hip creases. And this is important just because I want you to have just a sense of what's going on there. All right, hang your head, inhale to a flat back, shoulders down the back, exhale, fold, rise up. All right, stand to the long side of your mat again, step your feet wide. This time, instead of making the warrior two legs, I want you to turn your to both toes out diagonally, good, and hands on the hips, Bend the knees out so they're going over the feet. You should be able to still see your big toe peeking out in front of your knee. Good, and if you want to, just go as low as you want to here. Here's what's keeping you up. Butt, thighs, Phew, of course feet. <laughs> All right, but you're sitting here in this kind of squatty sort of pose. Good, bring your arms up, make a cactus. All right, inhale, come on up. Exhale, ooh, get all this down. You don't want to know what this pose is for in yoga. All right, so clench your shoulder, not clench, but take your shoulders down your back and see if you can take the uh, shoulder blades toward each other a little bit. You'll see that might make your elbows come forward. All right, wrap your glutes around and down again. These should be working. The thighs should be doing a ton of work right now. Good. Still stay here. While you're here, come up onto the toes of your right foot. Uh, yep. Back down. Toes of your left foot. Yep back down. See if you can keep your hips completely level as you just move that leg up onto the toes and other side up onto the toes. Good. Here. Stand up. What a relief. All right. Walk your feet back together and now you will need your belt. We'll need it right the second but you'll need it in a minute. So put it near you. All right. One thing that helps hips and literally everything else is core strength. And one thing that helps core strength is balance. So I want you to stand solidly on your left foot. Good, make sure that it feels 
slowly into the ground like you're rooting. All right, bring your right leg up and it should be about 90 degrees. Toes on this foot, on this leg should be active, not just hanging, but toes up. Good. Pull with your hand onto that knee, push the knee into the hand. Good enough. See if you can drop that, whoop. See if you can drop that hip down a little bit so you're not just up like this. All right, so drop the hip down now. Open the door. Yep, the glutes are helping here. The glutes are pulling the door open. And now the inner thigh is shutting the door. Awesome, set it down. That was easy, right? It was, that was easy. Compared to what's next. All right, bring your leg up, keep the toes active. Everything in, glutes are dealing with stuff here, inner thigh is dealing with stuff, good. Open it out, glutes are pulling that door open. They're holding it open. And coming back in, set it down. Gonna do that again, gonna add some stuff. All right, inhale the leg up. Pull everything in, good. Open the door, close the door. Now, if you know, if you have really uh, flexible hamstrings and you know that you can take your legs straight out and keep your, keep your uh, fingers on the foot, not me today, then go ahead and do that. Otherwise, straighten the leg as much as you can. Now, it may be down here. <laughs> Look, that puts my foot, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna do this. Okay, straighten the leg as much as you can, and it may be, Totally down here. It may be all the way up here. That's as far as I can go today. Okay, so do that. Bend the leg back and set it down. We're gonna do the other side. So, bring it up if you need to use your hand to start with, cool. Open it out to the side. Close it up. And now straighten that leg as much as you can without just leaning back, <laughs> okay? All right, set it down. Now get your belt, we're gonna make it easier. All right, so. Put the belt in both hands, put the bottom of the, or the middle of the belt on the floor, and loop the belt around the right foot. Good. You don't really have to use the belt to pull your foot off the floor because you know you can do that. But core in, everything engaged, glutes are helping, lift that up. Good. Now you have it. Sort of, you have it. Good. Now pull on the belt, keep the toes engaged, hip down, right hip down and straighten the leg out and see if you can straighten it higher and better, I'm tilted backward too, than you did before. Good, hold it here. Everything here in the core is pulling up on this. Good, and let go of the belt. Yeah, you did it. All right, let's do the other side. This is a cool thing to just practice. You know, while you're watching TV or whatever you do. Don't fall over like I just did. Okay, so now the belt goes on the bottom of the left leg. And it's also useful to do this in front of a mirror because I just saw that I was bending backward like I shouldn't have, and I saw on this video. All right, so it's under your left foot. Bring the knee up bent 90 degrees-ish. Good. Take this hip down a little bit if you need to. Pull in the glutes, pull in the belly. Everything goes tight. <laughs> Everything is just engaged. All right, and now straighten that leg. Pull on the belt so that it helps you get the leg straight, and then don't lean back like I am. Stand straight up, good, let go of the belt. See how long you can hold it there, and set it down. Awesome, cheer, because you're done with that part. Oh, but guess what? You gotta do tree. It's another balance pose, and it's actually really good to even out the hips a little bit. So, root into the left foot again. Good, depending on what's going on with you and your hips and everything else, you can just leave your toes on the floor like this and just look kind of sassy. Okay, or you can take them to the inside of your calf. That's also cool. Or if you feel like it, your hips will allow, your balance will allow, literally everything will allow this to happen. <laughs> you can put your right foot to your inner left thigh. Good, if it's there, regardless of where it is, press the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot. And notice that if you, yeah, notice that if you press on your right foot, the glutes on that leg open out a little bit. Now, over time, you should try to work toward your hips being even instead of all like this. I'm working on that. Yoga is a process. It's a lifelong learning situation. All right, so press the leg and the foot into each other. You can have your hands just at your chest if you want, and that actually helps you to press those together, engage the core, cool. If you want to, you can be a tree and make branches. Good. If you want to, you can wave your leaves around. If you want to, let's try 
some balance for real. Close your eyes. Oh yeah. Vision is important in balance. Okay, if you haven't already fallen down, open your eyes. Uh, help your knee come forward and set it down. Shake it out. All right, good work. I'm telling you you did good work because I know you did. All right, so left heel against your left ankle, your left calf, or if you want to bring it all the way up, set it against the inner thigh. Press everything together. And in the, in the act of pressing it all together, you're actually engaging everything. You're also engaging here, all back here, all around. Engage, engage, engage. Awesome. See, look how this one's up higher than it was before. I have a different, different issues in this hip. All right, so lower it down. Do this in front of a mirror. Okay, <laughs> press your hands in front of your chest. Press everything together. You take your shoulders down your back. Foot and leg are fighting with each other. Awesome. Now, if you want to have branches, raise your branches up. Exhale here. If you want to have leaves, wave your leaves around. Keep, keep everything nice and tight if you if you uh, let it go you'll fall okay now if you want to close your eyes close your eyes i didn't even close my eyes i'm getting tippy all right if you haven't fallen down by now <laughs> help get your hand to help your knee come forward and set it down and shake it out that's the last i'm going to have you do of that i'm going to give you two options for a squat right now and actually you could have three if you have like a couch pillow or something so one option is that you can go all the way down into Malasana where your toes are pointed uh, diagonally out, your knees are bent, your butt can go all the way down, not to the ground, but you're down here and your heels are on the floor. Uh, elbows can be inside the legs. And just like we did in tree, elbows and legs are kind of having a fight. They're squeezing into each other. They squeeze into each other so that you can make your back nice and straight so you're not hunched over like this. Okay, try to make sure that your legs aren't uh, falling inward and making your feet feel weird on the inside so get a tall press if you're close to this but you can't keep your heels on the ground a blanket or a pillow <laughs> put your heels on the on the pillow or blanket and that'll give you just the height you need to get into that squat and it even makes me feel better here if you're doing yoga for some reason or like at the gym and you have on running shoes with a little heel on them this squat will be easier this is also an option. If you feel like, eh, my legs don't want to bend that much right now, you can just get in this little vulture, <laughs> the vulture pose, and just the whole goal is to really stretch the lower back out. So this is totally fine too. Breathe it, breathe it. Okay, good. Uh, very carefully, whatever squat you're in, rise up to standing. It'd be handy to have a block now too if you want one. If you don't, no problem. I'll show with and without. So you're standing up straight. Have your right leg forward and your uh, left foot back. And your left foot, they don't have to be as far apart as they can be. Yeah, let me see what's meant to be. Okay, they don't have to be as far apart forward and back as they can be, but you know, a space. And make them kind of wide side to side so that you feel more like you're on railroad tracks than on a balance feed. Now, make sure the right hip goes back and flat back as you fold over that front leg. Don't hyperextend the front knee so you can keep it bent just a teeny, teeny bit. And this is cool to have a block here. If you don't want a block, or your shoulders down your back, if you don't want a block or you don't need a block, take your hand to the floor. If you probably need a block but you don't have one, take both hands to your shin and keep your shoulders down your back the whole time. You can start here with the torso parallel to the floor. We're gonna stay in this position for a little while so gradually, at least for me, as the longer I stay in this position, I can fold a little bit more and a little bit more. Don't force that. I just, even though I moved, you don't move. <laughs> just stay there and let your hamstring stretch. Have patience. Good. Keep your right hip going back. It's gonna wanna come forward and that'll take some of the stretch out of your hamstring. Go ahead and take this opportunity to Keep in mind that you should keep your shoulders back and engaged while you're doing some physical activities. And hip creases, think about the hip crease here while you're folding forward. Good, and the more things loosen up, the more you can fold if you want to. Don't force it. 20 more seconds or so. Right hip back, shoulders engaged, hip creases doing what hip creases should do. <clears throat> Good. And then very carefully engaging everything and even almost feeling like you're gonna make your legs into scissors. Rise up, good. 
turn around, get that going in the other direction. So your left foot is forward, your right foot is back, and I didn't say it on the other side, but you probably figured it out. The right toes are kind of tilted out diagonally a little bit. Okay, left hip back, hip creases as you fold, and you probably, maybe, only want to fold to flat back to start with. Even if you're pretty flexible, assess what's going on right now. Good, and as things go, you can go ahead and lower down. Don't watch me, I'm standing up, just because I want to. All right, so keep thinking about stuff. Keep thinking about your left hip coming back. Keep thinking about your shoulders, not trying to climb up to your ears. Keep thinking about your core engaging, and you're not just squishing down, but you're leaving a little space so that your hips can actually fold instead of crunch together. Good, just hang out here. While I look at my notes for the next thing, Mind yourself, left hip back, belly in, shoulders down the back. Shoulder blades kind of wrapping in toward each other. Good, just not up by your ears. All right, good, you can fold more and more and more. Keep all that stuff engaged as you do though. Now, feel like your legs are scissors, kind of bring them toward each other as you rise up. Keep everything safe, come forward. Awesome, now, you can do a forward fold. You can do one of those three squats we talked about before. I'm gonna do the vulture one right now, just cause I wanna. Good. Okie dokie, we're getting near the end. This isn't gonna be that long of a video. We're getting near the end. All right, so, <laughs> come back up. Good, and step your, Right foot back. Not gonna stay up long, so step it back and then put your knee down. All right, we did some of this before, but again, even up your hips. Awesome, I'm gonna step your forward foot forward a little bit, that's cool, even up your hips. Inhale up, grab a hold of your right arm, right wrist with your left hand, and really reach over to the side. Wow, that's a good lateral stretch. For me, anyway, today, I've got some shit going on on this side. I don't like it. Okay, come on back up. Good, hands down now, just for a second while I tell you something. We're gonna lift the back leg up to do a quad stretch. If you can go ahead and pop that leg off the floor and grab a hold of it, awesome. If you're having trouble reaching back there and finding it, put your hands on the floor, take your butt back, get a hold of that ankle, and then bring it back with you. Aha, thought I could get away. Take the right hip forward a little bit. Feel that stretch. Wrap your uh, right shoulder open so it's not just hunching. But wrap it open. Good. Pull your belly in. Shoulders both back. And breathe. This is a good one. Now, you might not think, my hips hurt. Why am I stretching my quads? But here's the thing. If your hips are, your muscles of your hips are connected to all the other muscles, we should do an entire full body focus on everything for three hours to get everything. But for now, we're working on the hips and the things above and below the hips. Quads, hamstrings, low back, core. Good. When you let your foot go, try not to let it just flop down. See if you can have a little bit of control. Awesome. Put your hands down, circle around. Now your right knee is down. Nope, your left knee is down. Your right leg is forward. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, first, reach high. Grab a hold of the left wrist with the right hand. Right hand. Lean over toward the right. Feel all that business going on. Come on back up. All right, you can grab a hold of this, this uh, ankle. This is my bad knee, so I'm gonna take my hand down, get a hold of it, bring it back up with me. Whatever the case, wherever you are, roll your shoulder back. Now, if this is not a thing that you can do at all, understood, I'll show you a, mo a modification in a second that you can do later. Ah, <laughs> uh, the yoga teacher fell on her ass during the video. Okay, wrap your shoulder back. Keep holding that foot, get tall. Man, all of that is going. Okay, set the foot down, because <laughs> I fell down. All right, so if you uh, do have trouble in the future and you wanna work on it, you can wrap the belt around 
And I don't want you to use this to jerk your knee to pieces, but it can help you just get the leg up far enough where you can hold it for a stretch, or you might even be able to get the belt over your shoulder and lift it up. I recommend just holding it up for a stretch so that you don't over yank on everything. All right, cool. Now, did you think we weren't gonna get to pigeon in a hip focus class? We're gonna get to pigeon. Let me tell you first though, if you don't wanna do pigeon, this is a completely reasonable and perfect and wonderful stretch. If you do wanna do pigeon, hands and knees. Take your right leg forward, good. Put your hands on the floor. Walk your right foot over until the outside of your right leg is on the floor. Walk your back foot back until it's nice and long and you're really feeling a good stretch on the outside of the hip on the other side. Now, you can stay up here, you can walk your hands down, you can lie down completely. Whatever feels right for you now, the whole point is that the quad should stretch. Not the quad, the piriformis, the outside of the hip. Okay, if you're here on pigeon and you're still looking up, and you start flopping over to one side or the other, see if you can even your hips up. Good, no reason to try to get the shin parallel with the front of your mat, that's some bullshit. All right, so whatever you're doing, relax here. up onto your hands. Walk your back leg in a little bit and here is another option for a quad stretch if you want to reach back. Good. While you're doing this make sure your legs are kind of scissoring a little bit so that your right hip isn't coming forward so much and then if you feel like it and you really scissor those legs a lot you may be able to sit up and do this whole thing. Here's the thing everybody always wonders why pigeon is called pigeon. It's because in the full uh, pose let me see if I can do, I can't do the full thing. Nope, never mind. <laughs> anyway, in the full pose, you're sitting here, your hand is uh, here, and your other hand is reaching up and touching your fucking toes. So you look like the big, big chested pigeon. We ain't doing that one today. All right, now on the other side, your left foot is gonna be forward in a, in a low lunge. Walk your foot over to the outside of your mat step your right leg back make sure that your left hip is not trying to come forward good if you're not flopping over to the left or flopping over to the right even up and then just rest there i'll do that with you So I started doing this in the afternoon, just stay where you are. I started doing this in the afternoon because I had great light and now the clouds have come back, but luckily we're almost done. All right, walk your back leg in a little bit. When I say scissor the legs together, I mean you're just engaging your inner thighs and your outer thighs together in order to hold you up. And then if you want to reach back and get a hold of that uh, back foot again, cool. If you want to really scissor hard, <laughs> if you really want Engage your legs hard, good. You can sit up. All right, so keep doing that. And we are just about to the end. All right. Come on back down from that. Lie down on your back. Gonna do a twist and then we're gonna, uh, if you got a block or a foam roller nearby, go ahead and grab those. All right. So, knees into your chest, rock side to side. Put your feet on the floor, shift your hips just like two inches to the left, bring your knees back in, and roll over toward the right. Open your arms out to a T on the ground if that feels okay. If you are in a twist and your knees are way up like this, if you're in a twist and your knees are like this and it doesn't feel good, then put a pillow or a block or something between the knees even if you have to like there so that it's not pulling on your low back. Do this every time you're twisting and it hurts. Even if I'm not telling you to. All right, core engagement as you bring the legs back up. Center the hips first, 
Then shift them over to the right about two inches. Pull your legs in and twist. Pillow situation or block or whatever applies over here too. If your legs are up, or if they, even if they're not, but it hurts, step a pillow in between your knees. Is that life advice in general? I can't think how. Okay, core engagement as you bring your legs back up, center your hips, pull your knees in, rock side to side. You're just gonna do a very quick Supta Baddha Konasana. So put the soles of your feet together, let your knees come out wide. Good, press, press your feet together and see what that does to engage things. Awesome. Let them go, see what happens. Try it a few times, press them. One more time, press them. Them. Okay. I'm gonna show you some things. Now, if you don't have a block, I wouldn't really use a pillow, but uh, in some other um, videos, I've showed you how to wrap a thick book in a towel or something that could serve as a block. But even if you don't have one of those, you can be here and you can be rocking side to side the whole time because you're just gonna, we're gonna be massaging the uh, right around the sacral area. If you got a block, but not a foam roller, you can put your hips on the block and bring your knees up and just rock gently side to side, not so much that you're gonna fall off the edge of the block, please. In fact, I like to put my hands and hold on to the sides of the block so I have that feeling of my hands on the outside of my hips so I know how far I can go before I start to fall off. If you got a foam roller, I'm about to change your world. So get the foam roller, put it under your knees, feet on the floor, so it should be between your butt and your ankles. Good, lift your butt and roll that foam roller up there until your sacrum is resting on the foam roller. It's not on your butt, it's not up here on your guts. It's here right below your, right below your waist. Good, if this feels like all you really need because you're uncertain, stay here. Regardless of what you're doing, keep your hands on the foam roller so it doesn't roll away from you. Good, now if you want to bring the feet off the floor, Cool. You feel good here. Rocking back and forth is a nice little massage. This is very necessary for me today. Nice little massage from side to side. You can also put your feet straight up in the air if you want and rock side to side. This should not become a core exercise, so don't try to be like, ooh, I'm holding my core. Just, this is a relaxation thing. Okay, so knees, you can do this. Do whatever you want to here. If you want a little more hip flexor stretching and this does not hurt your low back, don't fuck with me. Leave your left knee in, straighten your or right leg out and feel the stretch along here. Now if you do this and your low back goes, no, then don't. You might even get, barely, you might even get your right heel to the ground. See that hurts my back, so I'm just going here. I'm getting a good stretch here. Good. Core, pulling in. If you wanna do the other side, Go ahead, it may be different on this side. Nope, my low back still doesn't wanna go that low today, but I'm just getting enough of a stretch on the front of the hip flexor. Hey, the video got cut off because a stupid alarm went off. So keep doing what you're doing. Your back is on a block or the floor or a foam roller. All right, it's time to get off of those though. So block or foam roller, uh, lift your hips, block, slide it out to the side, foam roller, slide the foam roller toward your heels and all of you set your butts back down. Just stay there for a moment. And then whenever you're ready, just bring your knees into your chest, roll over, you're done. Ta-da! Okay, see you later.